between you and I. We made this happen. We did. This is our video. Tell my story how I want as a female is so empowering. I get to look at the most beautiful sides of life that inspire me and inspire you and I share with you. So beautiful domino effect that's happening. All around you are spirits, child. They live in the earth. Hello, beautiful humans, and welcome back to my channel yet again. Today, I have a very special gift for you, all about the divine feminine and connecting with nature. My beautiful sister invited me to go greenhouse shopping with her. So I thought, what a perfect opportunity to kind of delve deep into the world of divine feminine. For ages, I do feel like what is feminine has been created and mapped out for us. But something's shifting and something's changing within the feminine aura. When we look back in history, women have always been kind of sidelined. Think about how women like Cleopatra or Joan of Arc were seen as outliers rather than the norm. They had to fight fiercely to hold their own in worlds dominated by men. Even in more modern times, women like Rosa Parks had to step up and break down barriers just to make space for equality and justice. And in the workplace, for so long, women were expected to be behind the scenes, getting paid less and not really being taken seriously as leaders. But fast forward to today and we're seeing this huge collective shift. The divine feminine energy is rising and it's not just about women fighting for a seat at the tables. It's about changing the entire game. Supporting the feminine energy isn't just for women. It's for anyone tapping into those softer, more nurturing parts of themselves that have felt undervalued over time. Harry Styles wearing dresses or speaking about vulnerability, Keanu Reeves being celebrated for his kindness and calm leadership. Everybody that I know that's met him has said the dude's like totally, look at it, he lets his chick sit down, you know? He said, do you want to sit down? Go ahead, boom. That's all divine feminine energy breaking through in everyday culture through men. We're moving away from the idea that strength only looks like being aggressive or competitive. The modern collective shift is showing us that being kind, intuitive, collaborative, and compassionate is just as powerful. Divine feminine brings into balance with masculine energy, which has dominated for so long. We also see the shift in everyday life. More women are taking charge in fields like tech, medicine, and politics, all while conversations around work-life balance are evolving. Emotional intelligence and collaboration are recognized as essential. In the spirituality and wellness community, people are connecting with this energy shift. Practices like yoga, meditation, mindfulness, many which stem from the ancient feminine rooted traditions are becoming central to how we heal and balance ourselves. Yoko Ono, for instance, has long been a champion of peace and creative expression using art and activism to inspire feminine ideals of harmony and connection. This modern shift is about rebalancing the scales, moving away from the world where dominance, competition, and aggression are the only measures of success. We're finally seeing that feminine qualities of nurturing, collaboration, and care are equally valued and necessary for the world of healing. In a sense, we're reclaiming what we have lost or hidden for so long. I wanna explain this change as it's happening to me personally and what I've been going through in my journey. As we walk through this greenhouse and through life did by all of the incredible plants and flowers and the smell, the vibe and the energy. We're doing this, we're really tapping into something extremely, extremely powerful. 
Only the connection between us as sisters, beautiful, divine, feminine, female connection with one another. But each flower and each plant reminds us of the nurturing and creative energy that lives within all of us. This isn't just about beauty, but the energy of growth itself, compassion in the natural cycles of life, connecting with the earth, the sun and the plants really begin to reclaim that power. This video overall is really going to be about healing and finding a balance and remembering that we're a part of this natural world that's around us. There's this amazing shift happening where the feminine energy is expanding and rising here on earth. You feel it? I can. Let's explore how this feminine energy is awakening, how it's guiding us to use it, not only to heal ourselves, but also uplift the energy of the planet. The sun's warmth reminds us of the life-giving energy that sustains everything on this planet. Just as the sun nurtures plants and flowers to grow, Divine Feminine nurtures our souls, giving us strength to heal and expand. Through the touch of a flower, we feel the essence of the earth. The connection to something far greater than ourselves, present in the delicate balance, in the blooming flowers, in the growth of a tree, and the gentle flow of water. As we walk the path of awakening the Divine Feminine, we return to nature, our original source of wisdom and guidance. This sacred energy is rising here on Earth calling for a reconnection to the elements that surround us. By embracing the nurturing and powerful aspects of the Divine Feminine, we allow ourselves to heal, to grow, and to expand into our highest potential. We are witnessing a rebirth within ourselves and within the collective consciousness. The Divine Feminine energy expands as we honor nature, the earth, the sun and the plants that remind us of our own capacity to bloom. They do that day.
Beneath the veil of dawn's soft breath, the earth stirs quiet rebirth. Ancient roots weave whispers of life, cradling seeds that dream beneath the surface, and shadows dance with a lover's grace. She awakens with the earth, a force unseen but always felt, like the pulse of oceans, the sigh of trees, rising with the rhythm of the tides, her essence woven in petals and breeze, her voice in the wind, a song of the stars. In flowers she blooms, delicate, fierce, a beauty beyond what eyes can see. In the soil, her strength runs deep, the quiet power of roots that reach the heavens, drinking light, drawing life, divine feminine, eternal and vast, every blade of grass. She dances in the golden rays, a waltz with time, a sacred sway. Through the mountains, her spirit roams. In rivers, she flows, in forests, she calls, to roar a whispering flame, her heartbeat echoing in every bloom, her soul entwined with nature's name the earth, her sacred ground, where feminine power is beauty and crowned. She rises, she heals, she comes alive in every breath, the universe's sigh. For the divine is found in every leaf, in the cradle of earth and her ancient grief. As the world begins to see the divine feminine wild and free. She awakens with the earth in grace, a radiant light, a sacred space. In her, we find the power to grow, to rise, to love, to deeply know. That is earth, all in her sacred form, is where the feminine spirit is reborn. Not a replacement for masculine energy, but to create harmony. Whether it's through women stepping into leadership roles, people returning to the earth through movements like sustainable living, or communities focusing on connection and collective healing, this shift is happening all around the world. Equal polarity for all of us. We're talking about something that's way bigger than women's rights. Though that's definitely a huge part of it, this shift is really about embracing feminine energy in all forms of creativity, intuition, nurturing, and emotional intelligence, and seeing it as powerful, not weak or secondary. I want to say thank you for joining me, exploring that powerful, powerful connection between feminine energies and nature. We really need to explore that. It's so important to connect our bodies, our souls, our minds with the nature that's around us. By watching this video together, we tapped into that natural nurturing essence of earth, sun's radiant energy, ancient wisdom of high vibration, feminine that's rising here today. Between you and I, we made this happen. We did. This is our video. Tell my story how I want as a female is so empowering. I get to look at the most beautiful sides of life that inspire me and inspire you and I share with you. So beautiful domino effect that's happening. Looking at all of these beautiful elements that were created here on earth, it reminds me, puts things into perspective, reminds me of where we came from and why we're here. The planet is guiding us to reclaim that energy if you just listen. guiding us to kind of awaken that inner goddess within all of us. Men have a very feminine side to how much they're suppressing it because we all have that yin and yang, feminine and masculine, black and white, dark and light, about discovering that within yourself and finding what inspires that within yourself. Just remember when we're walking through life, slow down, surrounded by vibrant flowers and lush greenery, that's when we remember 
that's when we remember who we are why we're here to begin with. Find feminine isn't just like a concept, a force that resides within all of us that needs to be discovered and reclaimed. The cycle of life overall. That divine feminine within all of us, nature, that, that's us. That's us reflecting the energy that we put out. It's a beautiful thing if you just listen. Take a step outside and connect with the elements. And I think what I'm showcasing in this video is you don't have to be a nature nut like me. You might be in a more city-like atmosphere where you can't go out and it's not rural or nature-y. Greenhouse to connect. You can plant your own garden to connect. There's lots of different ways you can do that. Watching this video, seeing the natural organic imagery and music vibes and energy that I'm putting out in this video, I want you to obtain that. It's my gift to you. Here, here's your present. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you for stopping by.